What's up everyone, I'm Zorana, here to talk about creating and managing your services with Trust Booking System. Let's dive right into it! When you click the Services button in the main sidebar, you'll see that Truft has already created an example of services suitable for the industry you chose during the sign-up process. These services will be shown as a part of the default category, that is also automatically made. This category cannot be deleted, but you can easily change the name of the default category by clicking here and choosing the Edit Category option. You can also click Add Category and create as many of them as you need. I am now going to add some categories suitable for John Doe's dental practice I'm using as an example for this tutorial. I'll rename the default category to General Dentistry and add Cosmetic Dentistry as well as Pediatric Dentistry. For each service you will need to choose one of the categories, since there cannot be a service without any category. You can now edit the services Traft has already provided, or add new ones, which is what I will do now. The main service photo that you upload here will be shown on the services page in the admin dashboard and the booking form, so make sure to pick something nice and illustrative. Next, enter the name of your service. Note that this field is mandatory and without it, the service cannot be saved and created. The color you choose here will be shown on the admin service page and the booking form, in case you don't set the service photo. You can choose a color from the palette or enter the hex code to show the exact color that you need. Edit text to describe your service here. This description will be shown on the booking form, informing your customers more about the specific service during their booking. Under Employees, select employees that will provide this service. Make sure to assign at least one employee to the service, otherwise the service will not be shown on the booking form. Select one of the offer time slots to set the duration of your service. If you don't see the time frame that you need, go back to the general settings and change default time slot step. Finally, set the price. If you want it to appear differently, open settings, payment settings and make changes. Then come back here and the price will be shown in the format that you've set. If your service is free, don't worry, just leave zero as a price and the payment step will be left out from the booking form. Ok, so we have adjusted the general settings for our service. Good job! Let's now see the options we have to edit our services. Go back to the service list and click Edit Service here. The Appearance tab contains the same options you have when creating the service, so if you want to change something you filled in during the creation of the service, you can do that here. Under Settings, you can configure additional options for your service. Where do you want to provide the service? You can choose between three options – all locations, online or on-site. Activate Zoom or Google Meet integration if you want to provide the service online. Specific on-site and online locations have to be assigned to the employee. You can do that if you click Employees, Edit Employee and assign the location you want under the Employee Info tab. Ok, back to the service settings. Services as well as employees can have badges. If you want to assign a badge to your service, select one of the three options you see here or click Manage Badges to edit existing ones or create your own. To add a new badge, edit the label here. Choose the highlight color and click Add. To edit a badge, click the arrow and rename your badge label and change the color. Great! Moving on to the buffer time. Buffer time is the extra time before or after the appointment that you need to prepare for the next appointment, clean up or simply rest. When you set a buffer time, your employee will be unavailable for booking in that time frame. Customers will not see this time period on the booking form, but it will be shown on the admin calendar once the appointment is booked. It will also reduce the number of free time slots in a day. 
Let's now see how you can adjust this to match your needs. Click this button to enable buffer time. Two options will appear. As for the duration option, the time slots you see here are based on the default step, defined under General Settings, Default Time Slot Step. Under Pricing, choose which tax you want to add for this service, if any. If no data message appears, make sure to first set up your taxes under Finance, Taxes. You can learn more about this in our tutorial for setting up taxes. If you have connected your Truft account to at least one online payment provider, you can enable deposit payments here. Now let's see the additional options you have under Advanced Settings. Check this option if you don't want your service to be visible on the booking website. In that case, the customer will be able to book this service only through a link you generate using the Share Booking Form option. Find it under Appointments – Share Booking Form. Set Service, Employee and Location and choose the date range which you want to offer to your customer. Back to the Advanced Settings, where we have two more options to learn about. When your clients successfully book an appointment, they will be redirected to the Thank You page, which you can set up if you click Customize, Look and Feel, Customize Thank You page. But Truft also allows you to set the URL to the page where you want your customers to be redirected after booking an appointment for each service individually. To do that, enable Redirect URL after a successful booking and set the Redirect URL. This option will override the URL set generally on the customized page for this precise service. Lastly, click here to enable group booking and define the minimum and maximum slots available for each appointment. If you want some of your employees to have different minimum and maximum capacities from the one set here, go to Employees, click the Edit button and set this under the Assigned Services tab. Alright so far? Great! Remember, when in doubt, you can always hop over to docs.truft.com and search for the answers you need, or you can contact our customer support team. Now let's go back to the service settings to learn about an option that will allow you to sell more, add value and improve your service. Each service in Truft can come with extras. These can be additional services or even products that you can offer to a customer during the booking process. To create your first extra, click the Add Extra button and a pop-up will appear. Edit the name and set the price for the additional service or product you want to offer, or leave zero if you don't want to charge your customers for that extra. As with services, you can also set tax for this extra service and the duration for the extra if it is an extra service that will exceed the time required for the service. Additionally, you can define the maximum quantity of extra that can be booked by one customer during the booking. If you decide to hide this extra on the booking website, it will not appear on your booking website, but you will be able to see it on your trap dashboard. The option to multiply extra price with the number of people allows you to choose whether the price of the extras will increase with the number of people coming to the appointment or not. Finally, under the Gallery tab, you can define a gallery for your service. This gallery is shown as an image slider that will appear on your single service page for each individual service. Here's a tip. Always remember to save your changes along the way. That way, you'll avoid things becoming messy and chaotic, especially if you have a long list of employees and services. You can discover additional tips over at Trav.com and be sure to stay tuned for more videos on the Trav YouTube channel.